So let's go into closing statements. And by the way, last page of this notebook. I got to switch over to a new notebook. Uh, uh, so let's let's talk about some of these closing statements. Cory Booker, uh, call for. He <laughs> just goes. I need your help to get into the December elections, please, please. <laughs> it's just like Corey, come on, buddy. Just reel it back a little bit. You're you're getting real desperate. You're getting real desperate, buddy. All right. Sorry, there was a offside police and I didn't want to do much when I was crossing them. So, but uh, Booker talked about the December debates, and then he brought up John Lewis, uh, and he talked about John Lewis and uh, the idea of good trouble, right? And, and that's a great idea, the, the idea of good trouble, and that's you know what protests and uh, civil disobedience, um, nonviolent uh, activism, and all that stuff is all about, right? Uh, Steyer talked about structural sta- uh, st- the structural stage. Like we need, we're we're in a structural stage. We need like more structural change or some something along those lines. Um, Tulsi gave a pretty good closing statement, and I feel like it's her pretty like standard closing statement uh, about compassion and respect, um, and the idea of aloha and operating uh, a, uh, the her administration on the principles of aloha. Um, she talks about MLK Jr. and and about struggles and oppression. Um, and uh, and you know defeating the divisiveness of Trump and and coming to a nonpartisanship and working on a on a platform of peace. Um, pretty, I mean, she that's sort of what she said. I think pretty much every single uh, debate, uh, and and it and it's it's what she stands for, and it's what she uh, what the the thing that she backs, right? Like she uh, is trying to work with people across the aisle to say, hey, what's up? Can we talk about like why you're against this bill and what it's going to take for you to sign on to something like this and if that's something I, I can help with? Um, Yang pointed out something that uh, myself, Lee Camp, Jimmy Dore, Ron Placone, Graham Elwood, Kim Iverson, a bunch of people have been fucking saying for, for a long time now, which is Trump is a symptom of a much larger disease and we have to take care of the disease. And we got to do it for the children. <laughs> that was like, all right, Andrew. Yeah, okay. I see it. You're getting some soccer moms involved. You're getting some Republican Republican ladies involved. I like it. I like it. Um, Klobuchar just made a play for impeachment. And I was just like, dude, if you need impeachment to fucking win in that next election, ugh. Yeah, you're not really that strong of a candidate. Bill Maher loves you, though. Uh, Harris kept talking about the rule of law. She talked about her career and she how she stands for the people, which is a bunch of fucking lies, right? Like her career is not built on people. It's been it's it's uh, built on fucking over a bunch of people. Her criminal justice uh, record is atrocious. And it's been pointed out numerous times, and and it's the thing that got her kneecapped. So she's desperately like, don't pay attention to my record. Pay attention to my words, right? And it's just like, eh, maybe we should pay attention to, like, how you legislate and how you would run a country under the idea of your rule of law, which seems to be no different than the fucking Republicans. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, you know? Uh... Smart on crime, tough on crime, three strikes, send single moms to jail for truancy. Like, what the fuck? These are the things that you've run on, and we haven't seen you change at all. Uh, Pete pandered to the black voters <laughs> by bringing up uh, a black a- activist with uh, with no action behind it. it was... All right. Uh, Sanders talked about being the son of an immigrant. Um, and and kind of his record and history, uh, he was arrested at UIC for uh, you know b- marching and protesting with civil rights activists. Uh, and again, this dude has had a consistent record, um, and continues to champion for progressive ideals for the people. 
he is willing to put people above the party. Um, and, you know, I, I've said this once and I'll say it again, is I really hope Sanders sticks true to that. Um, and if he gets fucked over by the DNC again, he just doesn't kind of fold and support whoever the DF- DNC has chosen. Um, and, and, and to me right now, the bids, they're, they're trying real hard for four specific candidates. Uh, Warren, Biden, Mayor Pete, and Kamala Harris. And they are four pretty bad candidates, in my opinion. Um, and they're pushing... And I think Warren is kind of just somebody that they're pushing in order to try to suck votes away from Sanders um, and spin a narrative uh, that's like, look at the mean old man, but look at the nice old lady. Like, that's kind of how they're trying to play it. Um, so, I, you know, I hope he doesn't fold. I hope he just doesn't back them up. I, I hope he continues to stand true with the people and and does what Tulsi Gabbard did, which is try to push the Democratic Party uh, to be a party that champions for the people. Uh, Warren talked about no change because of corruption. Uh, And then Biden started talking about, and he was like, I come from the spotless administration of Obama. And that's what you'll get with me. More, more of the spotless administration from Obama. And I was like, oh, okay. What? <laughs> spotless administration? So we're just gonna we're just gonna ignore the expansion of the surveillance state. We're gonna ignore the increase of drone warfare, the increase of uh, deportations, uh, the uh, Wall Street bank bailouts giving uh, $600,000 speeches to Citibank and Goldman Sachs after you got out, having your entire cabinet picked by Citibank, uh, and uh, giving giving um, uh, Exxon uh, 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 the right to drill in the Arctic, wh- wh- and then you talk about climate change being a threat to humanity, but don't do anything about it. That's all spotless? Are you sure you understand what spotless means? I think we just, I think we solidified proof that like Biden's brain is just, it's just like not working. It's just not working. I think Biden is, uh, is, uh, uh, in an abusive relationship with his own brain. That's what I think is going on with with Joey B. He talks about American exceptionalism and he kind of ignores the, the problems um, and then he pushes for interventionism. Um, look, interventionism is not exceptionalism. It's just not. Uh, it, it's more of a time suck. It's more of a waste of resources and um, money and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, This is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current sociopolitical environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, You can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. uh, Share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, And another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content that was discussed and the and the type of humor that you saw in this video, then you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy show. I've got live shows coming up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Bloomington, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Columbia, South Carolina, New York City, Philadelphia. I'm going to be on tour uh, in in a whole bunch of places. 
uh, at the end of 2019 and into 2020. Go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com for my entire tour schedule. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Check out my entire tour schedule, get your tickets there, and uh, we'll see you on the road. Thanks again.